What's up you guys, this is Code again and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, what I'm going to talk about is what is an independent research, why you want to do it, and how can you do it. So I went to UTD here in Dallas, Texas, um, graduated a couple of years ago with a computer science degree, and I did my independent research with one professor for actually three semesters. Um, and it was extremely helpful for me, helped me with my career quite a bit, and most importantly, helped me with my first job a lot. So I just want to pass this information down to you guys so that you can get some value out of it. You can go out there and then do this independent research if you like to and then um, help your careers, speed the careers up as fast as possible. So what is an independent research? Independent research is almost like a program that school offers, but it's not really official. Um, it's per professor. Some professors do it, some professors don't do it. Um, so what that is is that they have side projects they're working on and they use the students so that they can reach their goals within the project faster. Of course, the responsibilities that you have is not that much. You won't really be able to break anything. You won't really be able to damage their project that much. It's just so the professor doesn't have to do every single detail of the project. And so the students can work with professors hand in hand and then they can learn out of them right then and there. Um, so why do you want to do an independent research? The reason why you want to do it is that it helps with your career significantly. Maybe not as much down the road after you've been in the industry for a few years, but with your first job, with your internships, it helps you tremendously. You have to understand that when you get out of the school, um, there is so much competition out there. Or even when you're looking for an internship, if you ever go to the intern fair um, in the school, you will see just that day is very busy for school. There's lines and lines for the internships and uh, the HR usually gets 100, 200 resumes. So it's very hard for them to filter out. Uh, every single student has the same, uh, same amount of experience. Every single student knows about the same programming language. So, and, and they t all take the same classes. So it's really hard to stand out across the other students. So independent research helps you with that. Um, it gives you something to put down on your resume that just shows that you're dedicated. And you kind of get on top maybe 10, 15, 20% of the students list automatically just because it shows that you went out of your way to learn something. So how can you find an independent research and how can you get started with it? Um, so what I did personally was, um, I actually, first time I heard about independent research, I overheard a student talking about it and I'm personally a very competitive person. So I, I was like, if someone's doing something that's helping them with their career, well, I can be doing that too. So I went out and emailed about six or seven of my professors and I was like, hey guys, I heard uh, this, this student talking about independent research. Are you guys able to tell me what that is? Are you guys able to tell me how can I sign up for it? Is it like a program that I need to uh, do online or how, how does it all work? So um, a couple of professors emailed back, they explained me how it works, um, they explained me that you know some professors already have it fooled up, some professors don't even do that at all, so you kind of have to go one at a time, each professor, email them, ask them if they're willing to do an independent research with you. And if they do, then in my school what I had to do was I had to take a, some piece of paper and fill that out, have my professor sign it, take it to my advisor and then they would um, sign me up for the class. It, it counts as, your, as a credit. Uh, one of the professors emailed me back and she was willing to do this project with me. So I'm going to tell you guys what was my project so you can get an idea of what kind of project you're going to so my professor got a PhD in natural language processing. Um, she did a lot of research on coming up with all sorts of different algorithms that uh, parsed the, the text and analyzed it and understood it. Um, so what she came up with was this huge algorithm, really actually Python, that was able to take in any input and it would parse through it and generate very intelligent exam questions out of it. So super cool idea, I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so great. Like you should actually sell this to the institutions. You should make profit out of it. But um, anyway, she put me on this project and my first semester, what I had to do was I had to run through it and analyze the code and optimize the code so that it was the most performant possible. Of course, back then I didn't know any Python, so I, don't, I wouldn't say that I optimized it that much but I did optimize it a little bit. So the biggest thing that I took out of there was that I was able to read Python code. I was able to learn Python um, a little bit just by reading at the code and then she was right there to help me if there were certain points that I couldn't understand. Uh, second semester, I continued my independent research with her. 
Uh, and I think there is a max of credit that you can do. So you may want to check with your advisor what's the max amount that you can do. But I did um, the three semesters and they all counted for credit. So you know, in my second and third semester, what I did was um, she wanted to take this application and algorithms and put it out into cloud. So that you specific dedicated users, they could go in there, input any text, whether it was PDF, Word file, text file, whatever, however long it may be, and then it would parse through it, it would analyze it, and then it would render back this questionnaire. Um, in the second and third um, semesters, I learned one, how to write web applications. In Python, I used Flask at that point. Um, two, I learned how to deploy a web application to Azure Cloud, which school nowadays doesn't, doesn't teach you as much. That's kind of up to you for you to learn that because cloud is a very new thing. It's very edgy, so you, you, may, you need to pick those up on your own. So I had to learn how the network connection works, how to optimize the network connection. So the amount that I've learned in these two semesters was just huge. And then when I went to the interviews, I would just start talking about them. Just like I'm talking in this video, I would just sit down at a table and just, you know, start going on and on and on and on about what I learned in this independent research. And it wasn't really that like someone understood that like, oh my gosh, he knows so much already out of this project. But it was more that I proved my point that I'm a dedicated person. I want to learn. I'm hungry for it. And um, I'm not satisfied with the minimum amount that, you know, whether school may give me or uh, I learn online or whatever. I'm always striving to just get as much as possible out of everything. So, um, yeah, guys, I, I really recommend independent research. I really think that you guys should look into it. It will help you a lot. At least do it just one semester. It's something to put down on your resume. In my other videos, I talk about how you want to just get as much as possible on your resume while you're in school, so that way when you get out, you just make your life easier. Uh, you want to do your best utilizing the school resources as much as possible. Um, so if you haven't checked out my other videos, be sure to check them out. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll be posting a lot of videos talking about career, talking about engineering. I'll be interviewing a lot of peers in this industry so that you guys uh, can get some ideas of what the industry likes from within the industry. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video and stay tuned for those videos coming soon. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye everyone.